Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Agla Sem Schools. In this video, we'll be covering exercise 3 of chapter 14 of NCIT textbook for class 7 mathematics. So this chapter, as we already know, is about one of the important geometrical concepts that is symmetry. Let's start with the exercise and see what it has for us. So question 1 says, name any two figures that have both line symmetry and rotational symmetry. So the answer is yes, an equilateral triangle and a regular hexagon both have line symmetry as well as rotational symmetry. I have drawn the figures for you. You can have a look onto that. Next question, draw wherever possible a rough sketch of a triangle with both lines and rotational symmetry of order more than one. So here we have drawn it for you. This is the equilateral triangle. If it is rotated 120 degree, so the third side will come up. So see the X mark here, then here, then here. So this has three rotational symmetries of order more than one. That is second part, a triangle with only line symmetry and no rotational symmetry of order more than one. So we have drawn isosceles triangle because it has only one line of symmetry and has no rotational symmetry of order more than one. So you can see X marked here is here itself if it is folded through a line of symmetry that is through the middle. Third part, a quadrilateral with rotational symmetry of order more than one, but no line symmetry. So this will be this x if reaches this x. And what is that quadrilateral called? A parallelogram because it's a quadrilateral which has no line of symmetry, but a rotational symmetry of order more than one. If you rotate it 180 degree, this will come over here. Part four, a quadrilateral with line symmetry, but no rotational symmetry of order more than one. So, the answer would be a kite is a quadrilateral which has only one line symmetry and has no rotational symmetry. So, if I draw a line through this point, so if it is rotated 360 degree, it will be again the same thing. Now, question number three, if a figure has two or more lines of symmetry, should it have a rotational symmetry of order more than one? Yes. If a figure has two or more lines of symmetry, then it will definitely have its rotational symmetry of order more than one. Now, question number four is fill in the blank type question where the name of shape is given to you. You need to provide the center of rotation, order of rotation and angle of rotation. In scale, we obviously know center of rotation is the intersection point of the diagonals and it has four orders of rotation. Angle of rotation is obviously 90 degree. In a rectangle, Intersection point is again the same, the diagonals, but it has only two orders of rotation and that the angle is 180 degree. Rhombus, again the diagonals intersect, that is the center of rotation. Two orders of rotation, 180 degree is the angle of rotation. Equilateral triangle, yes, it's the intersection point of the medians. Three is the order of rotation, 120 degree is the angle of rotation. Regular hexagon, Intersection point of the diagonals is again the same thing, that is center of rotation. Order of rotation is 6 and the angle will be 60 degree. Circle, yes, the center is the center of rotation. Order of rotation is infinite and any angle you may rotate it. Semicircle, yes, center will be the center of rotation. Order of rotation will be 1 and the angle of rotation will be 360 degree. Coming to question number 5 now. Name the quadrilateral which have both line and rotational symmetry of order more than one. We know square, rectangle, rhombus, these are all the quadrilateral which have both line and rotational symmetry and that is of order more than one. A square has four lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order four. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order two. A rhombus has two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order two. So these are the three quadrilaterals that have both line and rotational symmetry of order more than one. Moving to question number six, after rotating by 60 degree about the center, a figure looks exactly the same as its original position. At what other angles will this happen for the figure? So it can be observed that a figure looks symmetrical on rotating by 60 degree. Then it will also look symmetrical on rotating 120 degree, beat 180 degree, 240 degree or 360 degree. That is further multiples of 60 degree. Question number 7. 
can we have rotational symmetry of order more than one whose angle of rotation 45 degree and 17 degree so for 40, 45 degree see we have already observed that the angle of rotation of a figure is factor of 360 degree then it will have rotational symmetry of order more than one and we know that 45 degree is a factor of 360 degree but 17 degree is not the factor so therefore the figure having an angle of rotation of 45 degree will have a rotational symmetry of order more than one however figure having an angle of rotation of 17 degree will not have a rotational symmetry of order more than one so this is all from our exercise for more such informative videos do subscribe to our channel and keep browsing aglasm schools thank you